Today we're going to be trying Taco Bell's new Big Cheez-It Tostada, which I'll be honest, from first look, is a big disappointment. Uh, I got to be honest, based on the price, but I'll get into that later. Um, this is their new menu item. They tested it a couple years ago. It was going to be a thing, and then it was canceled for some reason. Um, maybe supply chain issues, whatever. Now it's here. It's early access if you're watching this video right when it comes out. Until June 6th, it's just on the app because that's how they all do it now. Uh, early access on the app if you want it now. But if you want to just walk in the store and buy it and not have to download an app, then you're going to have to wait a couple days. So June 6th is when it's going to come out for real. But, I mean, I got to be honest, straight up, up front, the fact that this costs $3.99 is a little offensive, um, honestly for what is essentially a big cheese cracker, which probably cost them like two cents to make, and tostada toppings. Now, Taco Bell hasn't had a tostada in a while, but the thing to remember is that the tostada was a value item, and it was one of the valuest of the value items. It, it was a dollar item for a long time. It was the spicy tostada. It did not have meat on it. That's, that's the important thing to add here uh, for some context. To be fair, it did not have meat on it. So it wasn't premium in that sense. It was just a uh, bean tostada, but it was good. And it was a good tostada that was on the value menu that they took off because I guess they didn't want to keep tostada shells around. Fine. Um, now they have this big cheese it which I, I guess it is a big cheese it I'll give them that. But it's not big. It, it, it's in fact very small. It's, it's smaller than my hand. I can fit it in my hand. It's very, very, very small. Um, I'm hoping the context of this can catch on video, but this is a small box. This is not a big box. This is a, a small box. The che Big cheese of Tostada is not that big. Um, I believe on the website they said it is 16 times the size of a Cheez-It. So that means if you laid out four, 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 and four Cheez-Its, that's about the size you're going to get here, and it's really not that large. Um, so in that respect, I feel a little ripped off, but I like the idea of the big cheese at tostada as a concept. I like Wal um, I don't know why I said Walmart right there. I like Taco Bell pursuing an item like this because frankly, the last couple of years of Taco Bell and the fast food in general have been terrible. Uh, there really haven't that been that many good innovations. It feels like this feels like an item that the Taco Bell of the 2000s to the early 2010s could have put out. And I mean that as a compliment in every way. You know, it feels like an item that actually people would be interested in as an interesting collab versus the Cantina Chicken Menu, which sucked. And trying to bring back items that people already love as a trick and bringing back nacho fries, all that crap sucks. I like this as a concept. Now I'm going to actually try the food after ranting. Well, I'm not going to edit that out for all the people who like to see people eat. Um, congratulations. But this is good. It's not great. It's good. It's exactly what you would expect. The, the Cheez-It is, is a Cheez-It. They didn't change anything. It's not like a lot of collaborations between companies where they put out a different product or an interpretation. This just is a big Cheez-It. This is exactly a Cheez-It. I'm sure it's the same exact formula, probably the same exact factory they just have a different press that makes a bigger cheese it because the taste is identical and i am a cheese it fan i like cheese it's <clears throat> i like cheese it's a lot um the only thing you can really say bad about cheese it's is they're dry which this does counteract i'll admit the sour cream and the meat is a nice touch um it's a nice snack that's what i would say about this this is a good option as a snack item or it would be if it was priced that way. But at the price of $3.99, at least by me, and probably more, I would guess in a lot of areas, um, it's just unbelievable uh, because it's a cheese at cracker. 
You know, it's not really a premium item. I would not consider a a cracker any sort of premium item. It, it doesn't make sense that this is that much more than a tostada would be. And there's no direct comparison, which is good for Taco Bell. They don't have a tostada on the menu, so nobody can directly compare a tostada to this price-wise. Because if you could, you'd be confused as to why a cheese it costs so much more. Now, there's also a cheese it crunch wrap. And if you do the math on that, it is only in my market 30 cents more to upgrade your crunch wrap to a cheese it crunch wrap. That to me is a worthwhile upgrade price, but I honestly wouldn't pay the price for a crunch wrap a la carte any, anymore at Taco Bell because it's like $5.69. Um, so I don't want to pay $6 for a Cheez-It Crunchwrap versus $5.69 for a regular Crunchwrap. I wouldn't get either. Um, so that's kind of out of the equation, which leaves you with a $3.99 big Cheez-It Tostada, which is very, very small. Very, very, very small. The name and the marketing and everything about, about it makes it seem like it's going to be a bit more substantial. But this is honestly quite small, and I would consider it a snack and not a meal by any means. And it is not priced that way. Uh, $3.99 is not a price I would consider, you know, cravings or munchies or value. There's nothing here that's value. It's a premium item at a premium price, but it is not a premium product. It is, in fact, a Cheez-It, which is not something that is high quality that you should be paying that much more for. I mean, and I love Cheez-Its, as I said. I understand it's a brand, and that probably raised the price a little bit, but it should not be raised to this level. I, it's insane, so... It's good if you want to try it out, go ahead and try it out, but it's going to be exactly what you think. Like, you could make this at home. I mean, you could literally... Uh, I don't want to say this because it doesn't really make sense, but honestly, if you had these ingredients, you could just put some Cheez-Its and make like a Cheez-It taco salad, and it would be identical to the, the flavor profile of this um, for a lot cheaper. So what can I say? Price, again, is the constraint here. It's not really the product, it's the price. But the product itself, you know, it's good, but nothing special. So with that, I will see you all next time.